वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल फ्रॉम सोमोस बायोलॉजी एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी वांट टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी डिस्कस टर्म साइटोकाइन स्टॉम ओके सो व्हाट इज साइटोकाइन स्टॉम टू अंडरस्टैंड साइटोकाइन स्टॉम यू नीड टू नो अ वेरी बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ हाउ आवर इम्यून सिस्टम वर्क्स एंड लेट मी टेल यू इन वेरी सिंपल टर्म्स आवर इम्यूनिटी और आवर इम्यून सिस्टम प्रोटेक्ट्स अस अगेंस्ट बैक्टीरियल और वायरल इंफेक्शन सो इट हैज अ स्ट्रांग सेंस of what is our self and what is non self so it can distinguish and recognize whether anything is from our own body or anything is coming from outside so sometimes whenever the things coming from outside our immune system will find them and will kill them or destroy them but sometimes our immune system gets hyper activated instead of finding the foreign invaders and killing them it gets excited against itself that is known as hyper reactivity of our immune system so cytokine storm is an example of hyper active immune system or hyper active immune response now why and how the cytokine storm works let's talk about that now the storm cytokine uh, if you recall and if you rewatched uh, our video earlier regarding the basics of immune system you know cytokines are small proteins and these proteins act as signaling molecule that convey the message between different immune system cells so one immune system cells once find out a bacteria or virus it's going to inform the neighboring immune cell about that bacteria or virus invasion so they do that with the help of release of cytokines okay so this cytokines like a phone call between them okay so this is very important the cytokine proteins are very important in order to have a unified immune response or unified immune defense against the foreign invader now the cytokine concentration must be regulated in our body normally the cytokine concentration is low low means uh, on the uh, what i can say in the balanced state now the moment we are infected with virus or bacteria the cytokine concentration increases because at that point of infection more of our immune system start releasing the cytokines to signal the neighboring immune system cells to fight against that bacteria or virus okay and not only in bacterial or viral infection but also in a situation we call as autoimmune disorders or hypersensitivity reactions cytokine concentration also increase hypersensitivity means again the body's immune system is becoming hyperactive and it is creating damage to our own cells okay you need to understand this thing you know our immune system is master to differentiate between what is self and what is non self now once this sense is lost instead of killing non self our immune system start killing self so whenever our immune system start killing self that is bad for example in our body we have important organs like liver we have uh, lungs we have kidney we have all the different type of tissue in the body now once the immune system start killing our lung cells start killing the liver cells start damaging the kidney cells then we find it very difficult to live because this is our defense mechanism so i can give you a very simple analogy for example we have our defense system which is you know the police and we have the military all these systems are in place let's say uh, we have in, in india we have indian military system we have uh, we are very proud of them they are always fighting against uh, the invaders terrorists to, to protect us now imagine somehow they all are brainwashed and somehow they are tuned in such a way that they are instead of killing the terrorists they start killing indian people common indian people so there is no law and order in that situation and we all will die the same thing will happen if the immune system fail to recognize self from non self and get hyperactive and kill self it is also killing non self but along with that it start killing the self that means it start killing its own cells that is a situation it's a combination of different situations all together known as a cytokine storm why we are calling it as a cytokine storm because just like a storm you know what happens in storm uh, it's a huge massive flow of air that is taking everything with it and as it moves uh, moving uh, forward it gets more powerful and powerful that's what happened about cytokines the cytokine concentration was low so the amount is low now as more and more cytokines start to assemble and start to be produced in the cell uh, in our in our body and rush through the blood stream in that case it is working like a storm and whenever it's hit, uh, hitting and entering just like a storm hitting the places and destroys it similarly this huge amount of cytokines whenever it's entering in 
into the bloodstream it creates several changes in the body now what kind of changes cytokine storm does let's talk about it now the changes cytokine storm does in our body there are mainly two different big changes that we are going to see one is it can uh, make the blood vessel wall blood vessel wall thin very very thin the blood vessel wall becomes very very thin it make the blood vessel wall very very thin and due to the blood vessel wall is very thin the thing is you know let's say these are the blood this is the blood vessel okay this is any kind of blood vessel artery vein uh, whatever you take venule anything now these walls are made up with small cells okay they are made up with cells and there are they are those cells are joined in specific places and these are the tissue for example this art, uh, this this blood vessel is present near the lung cells let's say these are the lung cells okay all have nucleus so these are lung cells so this is the blood vessel supplying the blood to the lung cells so that the uh, our lung cells can work properly we can breathe properly and can live and it is very very important to breathe for living you know without food we can live for long duration of time but without air without oxygen we cannot live normally a healthy person without oxygen can only live for 4 minutes so what happens here at this point the blood is moving normally the blood vessels they move uh, through this uh, blood vessel red blood cells are moving what kind of cells rbc's red blood cells wbc white blood cells they are moving and also all these cytokines start moving through this place because they sense an infection for example here is an infection now we are talking about the cytokine storm in perspective for a viral infection let's say a virus infecting our lung cells just like the covid 19 uh, disease the virus sars cov 2 you take other virus h1n1 they also target this kind of regions so the virus is now inside uh, our cell so it's creating damage to the cell and uh, due to this damage this white blood cells start to move into this lung tissue so for their movement this blood vessel wall need to be little more porous they need to be little more porous so that the white blood cells let's say these are white blood cell they can come in and they can start their activity because white blood cells are the ones who are the defenders of our body the actual part of the immune system so there are different types of white blood cells they are now in close proximity to the lung cells and now what they will do is that they will now start releasing cytokines okay and there are different examples of cytokines one of such example is they are known as interleukins interleukin 2 interleukin 6 these are two major cytokines the concentration of which increases drastically in case of any sort of viral infection in our body there are other interleukins interleukin 3 4 uh, 12 all these things but this two particularly increase very much particularly il2r which increases in huge amount in our body particularly in the viral infection now what happen is that once they are in this place what they do is that more and more interleukins more and more cytokines are act, uh, being produced and let me draw cytokines with uh, blue color here let's say these are all cytokines and the cytokines uh, the cytokines are rushing all the cytokines like a storm rushing through this place and now the cytokines are uh, all in uh, near proximity to the lung tissue in the lung cell so what they are doing is that there's a huge rush of cytokines and these cytokines will signal more and more white blood cells to come in so all these cells are rushing into this place so what will happen this place will swell up okay and that's what happens the swelling up and as more and more cytokines are moving this blood vessel wall is becoming thinner and thinner as a result of which most of the blood fluid because the blood is composed of two different components one is the cellular component another one is the liquid component the cellular component is the white blood cell and red blood cell platelets those things are there and the liquid component is moving out of the blood vessel into the neighboring lung tissue there so as uh, the liquid is now in in near proximity to the lung tissue the blood vessel is becoming more and more permeable so what will happen remember the water content of the blood is moving out of the blood vessel into the lung tissue and what is happening is that that means the in the blood vessel we are only left off with cells that means the solids so as there is less uh, liquid component of the blood in the blood vessel blood start to coagulate blood start to clot in this blood vessel 
So as this blood start to clot inside the blood vessel, what will happen sooner? You will see this white blood cell and red blood cell or they start to form what is called a clot. So as they form a clot, now what will happen? The blood which is supposed to flow from this side uh, to throughout these lungs and even uh, go to other places like let's say heart, it may go to kidney, it may go to liver, in all these places, this blood should supply to heart, kidney, liver in all these places of the body. Now it's not moving because of the clot, it's like a jam. So if there is a jam in the road, you cannot move forward. So as a result, heart stop receiving the blood, kidney stop receiving the blood, liver stop receiving the blood and as a result of which what will happen? All these organ will fail. So ultimately, the cytokine storm will lead to multi-organ failure. And this is what is happening with all these COVID-19 patients, most of the COVID-19 patients. Now what happened is that in some cases, uh, the patients while they are dying, the major reason is the cytokine storm. It was first observed in China, in Wuhan particularly uh, at the very first time cytokine storm is not new remember it's not only a case of uh, the SARS-CoV-2 virus no cytokine storm is always there in our body cytokine is always there in any sort of infection it may happen in any kind of autoimmune disease like lupus okay the cytokine may increase in the body in any kind of autoimmune uh, diseases known as LHL those kind of situations or MAS macrophage activation syndrome these are some sort of autoimmune diseases uh, or hypersensitivity reactions we always have high cytokine concentrations in our body that's normal situation even in case of flu sometimes we find more cytokine presence uh, in our body but they don't kill that often but this time we find out that this cytokine storm associated with COVID-19 disease is killing many people probably there are few reasons for that. One of the few reasons is that in this case the virus is targeting lungs. If the virus targets other organ in that case, you know the other organs, for example if liver start failing, uh, it takes more time for that because liver is doing many important metabolic uh, processes and digestion and all these things. So if liver start failing, we have different approach to protect it. But if lungs start failing, you cannot take oxygen and you need to put it in under the ventilation very very fast. And we don't have ventilation facilities uh, in all the hospitals and we're running out of it. So as a result of which a person desperately need a ventilator and if they don't have the ventilator, then they will ultimately have a lack of oxygen supply and ultimately they will die. So this is the idea what's happening with the COVID-19 disease. But the thing is cytokine storm is not new. It is present in H1Y, N1 and anytime whenever a new strain of flu comes in, there is a cytokine storm. Four out of five patients, you will see a cytokine storm. So what are the symptoms of cytokine storm? How do you figure out whether a person is undergoing a cytokine storm effect in the body? The symptoms uh, associated first of all high fever. Fever is always there. Second thing is that the person may have neurological symptoms, you know, neurological symptoms mean muscle ache, seizures in the body, seizures means, you know, uh, the shaking of the body, uh, that's what happens, as well as there are problems with, uh, you know, the cognitive behaviors, cognitive sense, as well as the person may even undergo coma. So these are the situations, these are the symptoms that are associated with the cytokine storm. It may also result in sepsis, that means, uh, the bloodstream of ours are filled with the virus or bacteria which is called as sepsis uh, condition, uh, bacteremia uh, that may result in a shock in the body, septic shock and finally which is very deadly and the chance of death is almost 98 to 99 percent. Okay. Now the big question, we know about cytokine storm what it does, we know, we know when our own defense mechanism is turned against us. That's the bad situation about cytokine storm. But now the big question, can we detect cytokine storm uh, from before? If we can detect cytokine storm from advanced uh, stage, then we can prevent it. Now the answer to that is not a proper answer, but still there are some chances. It is found out that some proteins in the blood, some marker proteins in the blood increases in concentration before the cytokine storm. And what are those proteins? Normally found out three proteins I list. One is the plasma ferritin, plasma ferritin protein, ferritin is a protein which increases uh, before the cytokine storm. There is another protein known as CRP, you probably have heard this 
you have probably tested it in different uh, cases blood test crp c reactive protein it is generally increased in any sort of infections in our body but which is also increased in case of cytokine storm and the third thing is that high concentration of interleukin 6 if we find out high concentration of interleukin 6 in the body it is more likely to be associated with uh, a type of cytokine storm whether it is due to autoimmune disease or hypersensitivity reactions or due to any viral or bacterial infection mostly in case of viral infection there so if we check this components this ferritin protein crp or il6 these proteins then we can comment that yes there is a chance of cytokine storm in that patient okay and what we should do uh, then and there what we should do is that we need to make a way to prevent the release of cytokines in the body so we need to suppress our immune system now think about a situation a situation of viral infection where our immune system should protect us but it is going against us so in that situation we need to suppress our own immune system with immunosuppression drugs what an irony isn't it so when we are talking about our natural immune system should protect us but in a situation where uh, if our immune system is overboard with the effect of the virus or the effect of any sort of autoimmunity, in that case, we need to suppress our immune system to protect us against our own defense mechanisms. That is the irony about the cytokine storm. So this is all about the cytokine storm. And it was found out that the cytokine storm is associated with uh, many deaths. Uh, because, you know, uh, as we know that uh, people are writing doctors are writing the death certificate that the person is dying with comorbidity you know the problem with the liver failure or heart failure or kidney failure actually that failure may be a part of the cytokine storm due to the cytokine storm those organs may fail and we are going to see that as a result and the death certificate is written as the COVID-19 as a cause along with the uh, acute heart uh, liver failure uh, acute kidney failure or or heart failure but actually this may be a result of the cytokine storm so i believe you understood the idea of the cytokine storm properly this is the idea of cytokines if you want to understand more about the immunology which it is a fascinating subject you should all learn about it you should all know about it you should all know about our defense mechanisms of our own body you can watch the continue video of immune system in my channel there are many videos of immune system so you can watch it it will help you okay so that's all for today about the cytokine storm if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more videos like that thank you bye